morning. Good morning. How are you? Hot. Hot already, yeah. Yeah. Well, today, here, you take that. Today, we're going to start working on this plumbing back here. And, uh, do you see me? You see me? Hey, say, hey, plug. be a cameraman. That's your job today. Okay. Right, come in over here. I'm going to scooch myself down in this wall. Come on in with the camera. And, uh, so I drilled two holes back here. I showed them to you in the other video, but what I need to do is before I drill out the the main thing is I want to check check my full measurement, right? So I'm gonna because when I go to build the hot water jacket, so I got nine and three quarters from center to center. So I just gotta remember nine and three quarters. Oh fuck it is hot. How are I on this thing? And that's got to be the center to center of the water jacket when I when I go to put the water jacket. Yesterday we started some plumbing. You can show them where. Uh, take the camera down there. there you go. We, we got that. We're starting to sort out our um, uh, filter system, and I started cutting. Here you go. Show them this right here. That's going to be the shower valve. Cut a bunch of pieces and put it together. Now that's all got to be soldered and welded together you know soldered together uh, but I got it to where you know the shower head with will, 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 will screw right on there and I got to get all that all that piping together right there but for now it's just put together and setting aside could look up here show them up here because we'll have to punch a couple walls up here on the hole uh, holes in the wall up here for that to go through so that can mount on the inside but right now we're going to work on like i said i've got some special drill bits that i need to use today all right so i got to put a hole in the floor got one of them bad dudes i uh, put a couple holes you got one of these uh diamond bit uh hole saws that's going to be used for going through this rock board over here and some of y'all might remember when I was um, up in uh, New Jersey, when I was up there with Brenda, we were building those pole mounts, and we got a big set of these monster-sized drill bits. Wow. And Yeah, wow, these are big drill bits. So we got to punch a hole in some stuff today. Ooh, blue. Want to sniff? <laughs> like I said. Yeah. Otay. 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 <laughs> All right. So, I got to get back here and get some leverage on this thing. And I don't know if I can do this or not. What I say it was nine and three quarters? Let's check that measurement. Make sure it's burned into my neural connections. There's one inch marker. Nine. Nine. That's actually... Actually more than that. Actually more than that. It's a little bit more than three quarters. It's not quite seven eight. So what's what is that? Uh, if you drop it down to the sixteenths, that's what thirteen sixteenths. So nine and thirteen sixteenths. So it's been recorded. So I want to put a hole in here so we can get that three quarter inch pipe through here. All right. You're going to have to stop that because I'm pushing too hard on this and it's, I'm going to push the, end up pushing the um, wood stove forward and I don't want the wood stove to move. So you stop that and then when I'm done with this, we'll show them. Okay, let me. Hit the stop. All right. This is a bit of a mess, but it's actually kind of easier than I originally thought. Woohoo! Look at there. A little hole in the back. Where are you at? There's the bottom hole. So see if you can see it the two holes right here okay here take the camera and here, take the camera and now look inside turn around and look inside there so they can see the holes in the back and, and aim it back here towards the back hello down there hey. 
<laughs> all right, so, all right, I'll go ahead and, and pause that again, and we'll... All right, Stephen has swept up my pile of shavings, and he's taking them out into the woods to um, kind of distribute them on the ground where they'll just rust away those little shavings. All right, so what I want to do is I need to get a measurement for my copper. So, as you can see, bad lining, but I want my water jacket to come up to about right here. So I need to measure, let me see if I can do this, to get oh, about two, three inches off of the wall backer. I may have to trim that, but I want to get a couple equal length pieces. So I want to go 36 inches right there. Okay, so I'm going to cut two of them 36, and then depending upon my uh, 9 and 13 16 center to center looks like I could do 16 inches right there 16 inch because it's meant you know meant to take a 16 inch piece of wood and we can do some 16 inch pieces so let me cut a few pieces here out of this pipe and we're going to take a look at how we're going to make make this thing we'll be right back all right so we're sitting here right here on our little bed frame and I'm trying to figure out see if you can see the whole thing trying to figure out just how many loops I can run and it looks like um, now I can cut I can cut uh, short pieces of pipe that allow me to just take those take those elbows up against each other and you wouldn't have any more distance in there than that so if I were to cut some short pieces just to fit that how close could I get this to work so I need nine nine and thirteen sixteenths which is about I'll show you this here almost right there yep right about dead on right there alright so as you can see I was hoping to get another run in here doesn't look like it's gonna happen so what I need to do is take out one run here and uh, pull it elbow off of there put this elbow on here here you hold this trimming there. So what I'm going to have to do is get that like such. So it needs to be 9 and 13 16 center to center which is right about there. Let me see if I can. It should be mostly parallel. Yeah, it is. All right, so what I need to do is just laying this thing out. See, you guys can do this in any wood stove. Anybody can do this in any wood stove, right? Not a problem. Now what I want to do is if just roughly spacing these out like this, is I want to kind of equalize it. Or do I? Let me think through that a little bit. All right, so if I bring my cold water in, do I want to, maybe I want to pack the pipes closer together to the high side. So coming in cold and then get it up against whatever logs or ashes or something is and then have it go to the high side. And short one, short one, and then finish this length, this length here. Yeah, that's what I think I want to do y'all can make your own comments on it but uh, because you know that if I'm looking at this from the side right and this is going to be the bottom and the cold water is going to come in down here you're not going to get as much heat down here in the bottom as you're going to get up here from the radiated heat on top of the fire or next to the fire so let's throw these at least that's my logic right now let's throw these right there and let's cut some so I'm gonna go ahead and cut short ones here all 
actually before I do this short one, it's real hard to clean some of these pieces of pipe and they get kind of sharp. They get kind of sharp when you do so sometimes it's better to go ahead and clean these. You know you got some short pieces of pipe to go ahead and clean the pipe off. Now I'm not worried about prettiness of the pipes because this this pipe is going to get um, uh, blackened and it's going to get uh, uh, creosote all over it like my black pipe did in my wood stove and it's going to get pretty nasty which is which is okay so I'm not worried I actually grabbed the um, the most um, dirtiest one because I knew it wasn't going to be an issue of having clean pretty pipe I like the, the 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 exposed copper pipe look so let's see now it'll be a little easier for me to clean it up for soldering so I like to pre pre-cut everything in the piece or at least on large portions of the project just to make sure everything's cut and fit to place before I even bother gluing or soldering anything because that way if you make a mistake you ain't, <laughs> you ain't screwed matter of fact come on bite bite matter of fact what I think I'm gonna have to do now I'm thinking about it, because of the width here I might have to put this in in two halves and then solder it together inside because I'm not sure that door is gonna well that bottom piece will come out maybe that'll work we'll look at that in a second so I'll get all this together and I won't connect the bottom piece just in case because I'm looking at it, it's kind of tight so there's one let's do another one ah rolled right out of that likes to roll one way better than the other way. That gets soldered, that gets soldered. And let's check our dimension here. Let's see, 9 and 13 sixteenths. Right about there. Alright, let's see what we got. About that much. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this heat and humidity. I would like to have stayed in Montana if the dirt was affordable, but not with the getting colder. Although I'm starting to question the whole Maunder Minimum thing with the last two winters being as warm as they've been. Which means we're probably due for a pretty cold winter this year, and it wouldn't surprise me if we get a cold one really wouldn't alright All right, it's kind of sloppy and I guess I'm not going to move that. I tell you what let me go ahead and you can, we'll pause this and I'll go ahead and get this uh, soldered together and then we'll look at getting it in the wood stove. Alright, yeah, you watch right over there. Alright, so, got me a little workstation set up here. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to prep all of these 
uh, solder joints for soldering now. These little short pipes, I kind of already did them. But even with the new ones, uh, I definitely want to go through here and kind of rough up this and rough up this. Okay, now I've shined these up pretty nicely. Soldering, soldering's kind of fun. Silver. <laughs> silver. <laughs> You'll love that silver. Alright. Got this. Alright. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, it come right on out of there. Alright, so, I'm going to get all these cleaned up and, and, and prepped together so that I can uh, solder them all at the exact same time. I'll show you here in just a second, but... We're gonna we're gonna get everything coated, everything fluxed, and everything put together, and I'll be right back with you. All right, let's see. Okay, so I've got every joint cleaned and polished and fluxed. I like to have a decent place to set things down on and kind of get it aligned. And I want to double check my my distance here, try to keep this parallel. And, oh, pins and needles from Squatting down. Oh, my leg's tingling. All right, so let's see what we got here. Nine and right there, yes. And I want to make sure that this is spread out right. There you go, nine. Now, I'm going to go ahead and solder this. Actually, let's do that. Oh, that wants to open up. See, you can make some minor adjustments here. I definitely want to make sure it's sitting proper. Yeah, that looks good. And open you up just a hair. About like that. Now, I'm not going to solder one of these joints. Because I want to want the flexibility to put these things together. Now, I've left a little gap here. And a little gap here so I can get the solder down there. Let's see how this thing works. I just pulled out my lighter. There it is. Let's see how this thing works. I get the solder out. I'll go through a bunch of it. Let's get that out. If you can do this, it'll be a hell of a lot easier. Alright, so those of you who've never uh, sweated pipes together. You're going to put your heat on the back side after polishing and putting the um, flux on it. You put the heat on the back side. You're going to start to heat the joint. And if you can, you want to do this all at once whenever you got a bunch of joints like that together. And then you're going to put your solder. There it goes. Notice it's going right in. All right. Come around that side. And then move over to this side. I'm going to do both of them at the same time. Both of these. You want, oops, not on the outside. There we go. A little overdoing it but it's not as clean as I'd like and right in it went I'm gonna do these two right there right here This one's on the 
board. I'm gonna burn some wood. Oh shit. Just lost my flame. What I do with the lighters in my pocket? It's burning. Oh. I know. So I had you get the wood because I didn't want to burn your bucket. Uh -huh. All right, that's those. We'll give that a minute to cool because that pipe's going to be hot all the, way, all the way around. Let me do. I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and do. No, I won't. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Because when I do one, whenever you do one, uh, the other one uh, wants to get ready to go as soon as the, as soon as you hit one, you almost want to hit the next one. And whenever you heat it, you don't want it to cool and reheat because then you have a chance of uh, the solder running out and gapping open and stuff like that. Because this, that one right there was kind of, that one right there was kind of, um, oblong there's a big gap in there and I'm pretty sure I filled it but you want to get it done you want to get it done right the first time so I'm gonna let it cool and then we're gonna go look at it inside on the wood stove all right so took all the hands on deck Let's see if his light works all right so you see I've got my two pipes coming out at the back and I'm probably gonna have to um, trim them right there right uh, but there you go. So I got them out there, run out there where we can get them in place. Now I still have to punch a hole through down there. But I can move, I can move the, um, uh, the wood stove over just a little bit to get that one drill bit, that little red ceramic uh, diamond cutting bit. There, let's see. All right, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see that too well. It's going to be kind of hard. You got another light. You don't have another light, do you? The batteries on this are almost dead. All right, so. Huh? I can go in the tent and I got a flashlight in the tent. All right, get one that's brighter. And uh, so I've got this little block of wood in here just to suspend it so it doesn't uh, lay down on the ashes. But I, it was a good thing. My gut feeling was right. It was a good thing that I did not... Uh, solder this lower joint till I got it in here because it would not come in here at that angle and get up into that hole very well when it was together. I tried, but anyway, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. The, the The solder flowed really well through this, and as I was explaining to him a minute ago, um, well, if heat will melt that solder, well, you know, why won't it melt, you know, in the in the wood stove? And you know that my water jacket I did via welding, welding some steel, square steel. Let's see, is that that doesn't even? Yeah, these batteries need to be charged. Even you, even these do. There, let's see if that will help. We'll double light it. Still kind of hard for you to see it, but you can see the hole back there in the back, and then it comes back and forth. Um, the limiting factor was the length of those elbows and the length of the holes that I chose. Now, I could have probably drilled them a little bit lower and a little bit higher, um, but I did what I did based on um, wanting a... a, a direct angled surface to to um, drill into instead of trying to do it in the in the corner of the bubble like trying to drill here I wanted a flatter surface it is what it is now there's uh, this 
this lower pipe is a little bit higher off the bottom than than I thought, which means it'll do a, uh, a little bit more heating. I'm going to leave this block in here to help hold those pipes level and parallel until I can tie into them. After that, they'll hold themselves in place just based on where they're at. And uh, there you go. Uh, this will make for here, here you go, Steve. Take both of them. I'll make for some whew, uh, some hot water when, when the um, fires start getting built. And I don't know how quick how quick it will heat water in relationship to mine. And uh, you know, mine I can have a I if I take a straight cold tank and it's this is a 38 he's got a 38 gallon uh, short up there if I take a straight coal tank my mine will uh, it take three hours to heat it. it 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 takes an hour and a half to completely cycle the entire tank and it and it brings it up only so many degrees There's, who told you it was lunch break <laughs> oh goodness uh, it's um uh, when you get a thermal difference there's a certain temperature uh, difference between the water that's down here and the water that's down here between that being heavier and wanting to fall for this thermal uh, rise of the hot water to get up there so um, that's generally generally about 30 30 35 degrees is what I've noticed so when I get water in there and I put it in at, at about 70 you know 70 degree water um, when this completely cycles, it brings the water temperature up to about a hundred degrees, and then that takes about an hour and a half. And then, now my, I've got a whole lot more surface area of pipe uh, to to be heating. So I don't know if this one's going to take longer, which I'm going to assume it probably will take a little bit longer. So it may need two or three fires to to circulate this and get it up over 120 to 130 degree temperature. Generally we're running um, we're running our tank during the winter time we're trying to keep it up there around the 130 or hotter and sometimes when it's really cold uh, we can we can get it we can get up there you know 160 170 degrees. I've, I've yet to get uh, the tank at, at up over over 180 I have yet to get a, a hot water tank over it because I just haven't had that need, much of a need for the heat in the house. And um, that's what it is. And even with our solar panel outside right now, if if we have a couple of good hot days and sunny days like this where we got baking, baking sun, we end up with um, uh, about 120 to 130 degree water. And that's about it, which is, which is just fine. It's hot, hot enough to wash. And whatnot. So, I think we're going to end this video uh, for and just make it all about installing the hot water jacket in the wood stove. Uh, but I'm going to keep on plumbing and getting this going. So, say bye for now. Even though it's only what about 10, 10:30 in the morning, we got more to do, right? Yeah. You you got more to do, right? Yes. 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 All right. Bye.